Hi, my name is Dan Hoffman. I'm one of your instructional coaches in the Palmdale School District. And we're gonna take a look at two activities that I have centered around Halloween, but really you could do with Christmas time or you can do just about any time of the year. This is just a really good example to do and a way to get kids to write and be creative. So both of the activities we're gonna look at, we get from Eric Kurtz. Eric Kurtz is the author of the Control Alt Achieve website. He was also our keynote, morning keynote speaker for the EdTech Summit. And what he has here is called Build a Jack-O-Lantern. So there's directions. Here are the directions. Some optional things that the kids can do if they wish. But really we're gonna be decorating this pumpkin right here. And then the students are gonna write a paragraph about their pumpkin. So let's decorate. Let's give it some eyes. There we go. Let's give it a mouth. I like this one. There we go. And we'll give it some arms. I like the Mickey Mouse arms here. Back up here. Let's move this one right there. And this one right there. And then, of course, we got to give it some feet. I like these blue converse looking ones right here. There we go. And, of course, we need to give it a hat. I'll give it the pilgrim hat. There we go. All right, my pumpkin is all set. And now I would have my kids write about their jack o' lantern. So, this is where. The kids will tell about their pumpkin, maybe what is its name, where does it live, is it alive, let them be creative. And so when I would be all, when I would have my kids done with this, I would have them take care of any of the extra slides that are on here, and then I would also have my kids present about their pumpkin. And you can even have the teacher bring it over so you have all the students with one uh, category or with one slide deck that you can draw of and they can all present their pumpkin. So that's copy, uh, or I'm sorry, that's build a jack-o'-lantern. And so let me close this out. Let's take a look at the other one. And this is called a Rebus story. So a Rebus story is when the students combine words and pictures and they make it all into one story using the emojis that you see here or they can also insert special characters and change this to emoji they've got different other emojis that they can go into and use those as well so i'm going to do that i've already written out my paragraph and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take out words and i'm going to replace them with my emojis so i'm going to take family i'm going to put family right here and set a night I'm gonna put night right here. All right, so you can see I've got most of my paragraph done. And so let me change that. I'm gonna copy that, paste it here. And a bat flew off into the night sky period. So here's what my paragraph would read. My family went out at night to go trick-or-treating. I was dressed up like a ghost. My friend was a princess. My brother and sister were a robot and a vampire. We took our flashlight and went up to an old, to an old house covered with spider webs. The old lady gave us lots of chocolate, candy, and lollipops. We turned around to say thanks, but the old lady was gone and a bat flew off into the night sky. So just a fun way to write a paragraph about Halloween. Again, Halloween's just the theme. You can do this for just about any holiday. Maybe make a Thanksgiving uh, letter home or whatever it might be. Uh, again, if you, if you don't like what's up here in the emojis, you can teach your kids to go to insert special characters and from there they can go through and they can pick whatever they really want to. So just a couple fun activities to do with your kids. 
Uh, enjoy and uh, let us know how it goes. Have a great day and have a great Halloween week.